So we have with us today, not the mats recovery rope. Well, this is the box for it. But this is the actual thing. I've got three new things from Factor 55. So this is a snatch block, which is uh, basically it doubles the pulling power of your winch uh, because you can run a winch line from the truck around the snatch block and then back to the truck or back to whatever it is you're going to be pulling with the winch, right? Um, which is super, super use useful because the winch's ability uh, to pull is maximized when it's, um, I want to say like 50% spooled out, right? So if it's fully spooled in or fully spooled out, it's not as strong or doesn't have as much pulling power. But either way, this is the Factor 55 um, rope retention pulley or snatch block, uh, which is for a synthetic rope. So basically the rope slides between these little niblets right here and just runs right along that edge. And then we have our soft shackle. For me, I'm using my mats recovery rope soft shackle, um, which basically slides through there. And then hooks up to the second thing, which is our tree saver. Um, unless you have, you know, don't have one of these and you just want to use a regular toe strap, that's totally fine. But what this does is it wraps around the bark of a tree and prevents you from damaging A, the tree, and B, your synthetic winch line from rub rubbing up against that tree. Um, yeah, so the soft shackle loops through there, which is around the tree, through there, and then you have your actual uh, winch line running to the truck or whatever object you're towing or pulling. And the third thing I have for us today is the Factor 55 Fairlead, which looks freaking incredible. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so when I installed my bumper, um, I installed the open road fair lead that I had, or that came with the the winch itself. Um, but that one's very blocky, it's very square, right? The edges are, are very sharp. And as you can see here with the Factor 55 one, it's not, it's much smoother, it's much more curvy, uh, which will lessen the amount of wear and tear that we get on the actual winch line, which is super nice. On top of that, Factor 55 does not powder coat their fair leads. They leave them um, as the metal color um, as it comes straight out of the straight out of the, the, the you know manufacturing whatever. But basically, um, that's just because as you use this thing and as it wears down, you don't want to have to worry about you know your paint getting scratch, scratched off or anything like that, um, which makes it look not nearly as pretty. And so this will look as it does all the time because you're not having any of that um, scrapage. All the metal is going to be exactly the same color. But. So I got her all taken apart on the front end and I realized that I still had these in, which are little uh, side wings sticking out of the side of the, the frame rail there, which used to be an attachment point for the uh, front like crash guard and stuff. But since I have this, I didn't need that anymore, which means those can go away. Which is nice because with these high clearance wings, these stick out a little bit further. So it still gives, it gives us even more clearance by, you know, I don't know, a few inches, but whatever. So that's all apart and it's a great, uh, perfect opportunity to clean. So I'm actually gonna get in here and clean it up. I'm gonna wipe everything down and all these like little rust, rustinesses that are coming through on the metal here. I'm gonna get those all wiped off and then give it a little bit of touch up paint just to make sure that they are all good and clean. And uh, well, the rust is gonna happen again, but at least I can prevent it the most, uh, the most I can. You know, something else I was thinking about too. My TRD Pro grill has the space to be able to mount the sensor for adaptive cruise control. Drop a comment if any of you have ever installed adaptive cruise control aftermarket, because I would freaking love to have that crap and I don't have it. Um, I feel like it shouldn't be too bad because all Tacomas relatively have the same crap and mine is a TRD Pro, which means it's probably already set up for it. It just didn't have the module installed because that would be an extra package that whoever you know had the truck built would have to pay for. So if you ever done that, please let me know because I would love to have it. Oh, that'd make life so much better. Um, anyways, yeah, so moving on, here we go.
Well, there you have it, my guys. That is the Factor 55 Fairly install. Super easy. Uh, you got to take a little bit of stuff apart on the truck, but it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, super cool. Looks good. And I haven't had any use out of my winch yet, but I also really haven't had any trips um, that went anywhere crazy that would even, you know, you'd even think about requiring the use of a winch. But anyways, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, you're probably just watching to the end of the video to be able to see what it looks like on the truck. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, drop a comment down below, please. I'll answer it as soon as I can. I do have a job, so uh, it's not going to be immediate, but you know how it goes. Anyways, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like, drop a subscribe, maybe. Come back next time, because there's always going to be more upgrades in the future for the Tacoma. And the speed that I have right over there, a gorgeous little car, new project, uh, should be a lot of fun. Um, also, I do random stuff around the house all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes I do random projects around the house and things that are just kind of fun. So I've got upgrades in the garage and lighting and big plans for the future. So stay tuned. So definitely hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe come back and see the kinds of things that I got going on in the future. So anyways, I'm not going to keep you. Midnight sign out.